Hey developers, today we're going to talk about computer science degrees and being a programmer. Are they important? What do people think? Let's talk about it. And before we begin, let me remind you guys that my friend Coding Tutorials 360 has a new course out you can learn all about Angular. I put a link in the description below. You guys should check it out. It's on Udemy. It's really a great course. It's $10. It's affordable. So please check it out. And thank you. All right. So the other day, uh, I saw a couple of these questions on Twitter going around. And one thing that I keep seeing is people are talking about computer science and is it worth it for web developers and programmers? And I've talked about this subject before. You know, I'll uh, li add a link here to another discussion about this. but. I thought that was kind of kind of interesting. So here is a tweet by Dan Abramoff. He is one of the guys behind React, create React app, and a bunch of other stuff. He is on the React team. So one thing he said in, in a tweet recently is that only one person on the React team has a CS degree. Doesn't mean they're not useful, but the perception that you need to have it to get hired is false. So at least he does says that they. He's not saying that they're not useful but you don't actually have to have one to get hired and that is something i absolutely agree about you know this is something i've always said is that you don't have to have a cs degree you don't have to have a degree at all to get into programming into development and uh so that is true but uh, i'm gonna keep going on with this and this is kind of an interesting thread a lot of people chimed in some people were saying that uh you know it's useful that um, I may not be correct here, but companies' interview process still includes CS topics. Does that mean that what FB's hiring and engineering are misaligned in this regard? And then Dan said there are separate hiring pipelines: a computer science one and a front end one. The front end one doesn't include deep CS topics. You're expected to understand and reason through things like recursion or working with arrays, trees, DOM, but that's about it. And and if I recall, it doesn't matter which pipeline you get hired from. That doesn't limit your team choices in the future, although obviously front end folks usually focus more on front end. So he kind of says that, yeah, actually in Facebook, they really do rely on these algorithm kind of computer science type questions for one type of track, but for front end tracks, you actually don't need it at all, which is kind of uh, interesting. So yeah, there's a huge discussion here, a little bit of debate, debate here. Dan goes back and forth on it. And so uh, another debate happened kind of similarly close by. Someone mentioned that, you know, one, uh, one, the job training is fine if you expect to be programmed for only five to 10 years. A 30 to 50 year career requires a foundation that you're unlikely to get on the job. If you love programming, get your CS degree. And then Yehuda Katz behind Ember.js, Rust, a bunch of other things says there is nothing special about academic institutions that hold the keys to CS knowledge. I've been programming for 12 years. Are you suggesting I should take a four year break to go back to school? And this is definitely something that I can understand irritates people whenever someone brings up the fact that a computer science degree might be a good choice, or they flat out say that you need a computer science degree to be a good developer. I mean, people, it rubs people the wrong way. And a lot of people came to, uh, to Yehuda's defense here. I mean, Sarah Drasner came in saying like 14 years over here. So a lot of people said, you know, I have 11 years of experience, didn't get a computer science degree. I have 14 years of experience. Um, and pretty much the sentiment always is that, you know, there's no hard rule that you need one. The industry moves so quickly that the most important thing is to learn and to learn on your own. And I absolutely 100% agree with that. You really definitely need to learn. And, uh, you know, respectfully think about the concrete uh, concrete people you talk about here, your argument amounts to questioning my personal CS work and many others as being fundamentally illegitimate in the absence of degree. I don't think you mean to be saying that. And of course, he's not trying to say that's not my intent, but I think you an, are an extreme outlier and it's a disservice to you yourself as a model from the norm. So I think Alan is saying that, you know, the, there is amazing programmers like Dan Abramoff and Yehuda Katz and so forth that never got their CS degrees, Ryan Florence, one, Sarah. Drasner, I, I think I'm not sure if she doesn't have a degree or doesn't have a computer science degree. I'm not sure. But what they're saying is you don't have to have a computer science degree to do a really good job as a programmer and developer. And I 100% agree with that. And I usually that's not, you know, I usually don't think that's the argument that people are putting out there. That's the argument that a, that a lot of people are saying. It's like, oh, you know, I'm getting berated because I didn't, I didn't have a computer science degree. That means I'm not a good developer. You know, I don't think many people are actually saying that, you know, 
I actually uh, created my own Twitter topic about it. I said, while wow, the CS haters jumping on Twitter, yes, it's not for everyone. You don't have to, to have it to become a developer, or you don't have to have it to become a good developer. But getting a CS degree can open some doors and offers a great education, the fundamentals, algorithms, and data structures. And and I had some back and forth with some people. You guys can go on Twitter if you guys are interested in that. Um, what I've seen really is that there is almost like a backlash for people who have CS degrees that at the point now that it's so, um, that there's so many great developers, maybe they're outliers, but I wouldn't say that. I mean, there's there's a lot of good people out there that don't have degrees that are good programmers that it's almost swung the other way that I see less and less people arguing that oh you need a CS degree to become a good developer and I see the opposite where there's a lot of people saying you don't need a CS degree and then going to the point of saying it's not really useful at all it's a waste of time you know you're wasting four years of time you know the best way to do it is just to self-teach yourself learn off of YouTube um, I, that is kind of that's where I hear everything like every like almost every single developer on YouTube kind of pushes that agenda a little bit kind of really pushes either self teaching self teaching yourself and then some people kind of say boot camps but at that point boot camps are becoming so expensive that might as well just get a, a computer science degree I mean just for example just five days ago like a week ago, I created a video, Five Tips for Self-Taught Developers. You can find it right here. And I was giving some really good advice to developers, but a lot of the comments, and I didn't even, I, I don't even know why this was controversial. I mean, I said right at the beginning that that you there's quite a bit of self-taught developers out there and that there is a path that you can take to become a developer that's self-taught, but there is going to be some difficulties for some people. Some people aren't good at learning from just teaching themselves. They need to be in a structured environment. They need to have some kind of class or curriculum to go through. And be it a four-year degree or community college or something, they need that. And a lot of people didn't like that. And they they didn't like what I said. I mean, I had somebody saying, so I am a CS fourth year student. I'm barely screaming by. Why? Because CS programs suck. We spend the first two years printing things to the console. Last year, I discovered this unique space called self Doc Developers on YouTube. I'm so grateful for it. I mean, like a lot of people, a lot of comments were, were upvoted that said that. Um, like one of the first comments I got was from Kazix, I'd write down here. I don't know if you could see it, but I'll go ahead and read it for you. Seriously, man, everything other other video Eric plugs is his CS degree and a desperate hope to prop it up is still even remotely relevant in web development. It's just not. Whether you're working for a business or freelance, if you have built great products, apps for the web by using relevant technologies and you did it by using knowledge, skills, and research, then you're then you're worth a hundred computer science graduates who haven't done that. If you want to be a Java software developer, engineer from a corporate, then yes, then degree is relevant. However, we all know that that the demographic this channel is aimed at. Web developers, the guy uses JavaScript frameworks, libraries, PHP, blah blah blah. So he kind of goes on and on, and it kind of sparked a little bit of debate. And I said, you know, I've always said that CS degrees isn't a requirement to get a web development job or to be a good web developer, but Fortunately, the market's super crowded with people. Any sort of advantage you have, including a degree, helps. It opens up doors and learns the fundamentals of things. And then he kind of went back and forth with me saying, well, no, if you have a good portfolio, that's a lot more important than your CS degree. And I told him that maybe more experiences probably trumps everything. And then maybe having a degree also helps. And then we kind of we kind of went back and forth a few times. And I, I, I definitely respect his opinion on it. But this is kind of the common thing I see over and over again and in this community, not not just YouTube or everywhere else, is this community that that kind of does doesn't think that I don't care that you have an opinion different than mine. I'm glad and in, in fact if you have that opinion I'm happy for you. But I, I don't like it when people take it one step further to the point where they're basically saying degrees are useless or that that because they they self taught themselves that that's like the superior way and that they saved a ton of money and that anybody that you know decides to get a degree is kind of wasting their time and money and that's that I don't agree with I think there is some value to having a degree um, especially just we just saw with Dan Abramoff there are certain positions where they have computer computer sciencey type questions if you try to to get a position and having a degree in algorithm having degree is definitely going to help of course also getting a job interview at 
at some of the big five, you know, Amazon, Google, Facebook, uh, is, is definitely going to help if you have a computer science degree just to get yourself inside that door. And definitely those algorithm questions are going to be difficult. So, you know, this is a really good debate. You know, I, I like both sides of it. You know, I've talked about this quite a few times. I just think it's funny that all these people are kind of chiming in recently talking about computer science degrees and, and getting a, an education and how important it is. You know, I, I still stand on stand by saying that, that you should. I mean, if you're coming out of high school and you need to, and you have a choice to go to college or you want to go straight into the workforce, I still think you should go go to college. You know, I think you should be smart about it. I don't think you should be getting hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt. If you can, try to go to community college, try to get scholarships, try to have your try to get a full time job. Maybe have your employer pay for it and work on nights work during the day and go to school nights and weekends. I mean, there you got to be smart about it. But I think that education is going to be well worthwhile and helpful. And I also think that as an, a developer, you can really. Um, if you're in school, I also think you can do just as much as you were out of school by working in an internship somewhere, by getting a part-time job. Or if you can, did I, I worked full-time when I was in college and went to school at the same time. So if you can kind of balance both of those, and I was a developer and into it for a while. So if you can do both of those things, that that's that's the way to do it. And obviously, after you graduate... You, it's a constant learning. You're going to constantly be learning because the stuff you learned in school, may not, not everything may not apply in the workplace. So you're going to constantly have to teach yourself and and be self-taught and, and learn learn things. Now, that's different than going at it, you know, straight out of high school without any experience, teaching yourself everything, compared to coming out of college, kind of already having those fundamentals and knowing the starting point in a lot of these languages, then teaching yourself and catching yourself up. I think those are two different things. So anyways, thank you for watching this video. I'm going to put a, in the comments below, tell me what you guys think of uh, computer science degrees versus self-taught education. You know, I think there's a place for both of them. I think they can work for a lot of people, but let me know your thoughts. Thanks, everybody. And like I said, double check uh, Coding Tutorials 360's Dylan's course below. I put a link to it. So it's well worth it if you're trying to learn Angular. Thanks.